Welcome to Mafrak Domes, a house which was built almost entirely using natural resources. With the help of so many friends, this house is dedicated to the late soul of my sweet mother. Ahlan wa sahlan. For so many years, for hundreds of years, people in this region depended heavily on an ancient building technique based on mud and straw. Their houses lasted for hundreds of years. This tradition of building with mud is not unique to the region. Many countries in the world, they, they do the same thing, they use the same technique. In fact, in parts of the world, such as Yemen, they have a city which they call Manhattan of the Desert. 16 floors made out of mud, houses which are 200 years old and it's still good and people are still living in these mud houses. The beauty in this house is originated from the material itself. We used the wisdom of our ancestors who reached the top technology during their time. They noticed by both test and experience that building house from natural material is the suitable thing to do and is the right choice. I started my career here in Jordan. I was raised and born in this city, Mafrak. I studied literature, then I worked at the Ministry of Education, then I left to the United Arab Emirates for a few years, then I traveled to the United Kingdom, and I settled down in the United States for 11 years. But it appears that any one of us, at the end of the day, must go to his hometown. Uh, there are many advantages in this country. Uh, and, uh, you know, you want to, at the end, to feel that you are home. Although I had a very interesting and uh, uh, lovely life in other places, but uh, family is here and uh, uh, my uh, land is here, and this was the uh, proper place to build a house. Uh, among the uh, advantages of uh, living in a mud house are, first, it is less expensive. Second, you use natural resources. You don't need to buy items which are harmful for everyone. And another good advantage of living in a mud house or building such a one, uh, the fact that it lasts for a long time. It lasts three or four times more than our current houses. The reason uh, for this long span of a mud house is that it, it becomes united with nature itself. The materials that we have used are almost entirely natural. I decided to build this mud house because I was not convinced with the way that people build their homes here. In Jordan and the whole region, they have a unified manner of building, depending heavily on materials which are harmful to both nature and soul. Uh, the reason why I built this house is to provide an alternative, a healthier one, for people, for their accommodation. Building this house almost in the middle of this town showed people that they can build their houses without uh, so much troubles for them and for the next generation. Because 
the period of the uh, cement or concrete house, it lasts for 50 years. Then you cannot fix it. You need to destroy it. This means that you will have your kids do the same thing and build another one. You will give the burden of a new accommodation to the next generation. Unlike what many people think about mud houses, that it will be melt and go away with rain, it is exactly the opposite. The relationship between mud and rain is great. The more rain and the more sun it receives, the strongest and the more effective it becomes. I have used so many mud bricks from old houses. Some of them were 70 year old. It's stronger than the one that we made recently due to the factor of time. The more time the bricks and the mud is exposed to both sun and rain, the stronger it will become. The house was constructed chiefly by using this manner. We filled polyester bags with dirt and straw, and then after it dries, we remove the polyester bags, and then we have this strong, big, large brick of mud. Finishing the wall was done by using a similar technique, just with a little bit of dirt and straw, though soft, unlike the construction one, it should be harsh, just a little bit of coating. This dome is not yet finished. It show you how we constructed the whole building. We made circles. Once we finish each layer or circle, Usually in summer, we wait a couple of days, then the mud would dry. Then after that, we put another layer of building. The size of the room will control the heights of the dome. So there is a relationship between them. The larger the room is, the more higher it should be. There are so many advantages working with mud. This room is not finished yet. It is part of five domes. The whole house is 220 square meters. Uh, five domes and a kitchen, which is seven meters tall. Uh, uh, this is the highest room in the building. It's around eight meters from the floor to the ceiling. We are not done yet with this room. Uh, it might become a, a guest room. One of the difficulties that you will face when you live in a mud house is that you will receive poor internet. But at the same time, the wall of the mud house will prevent uh, uh, harmful waves from telecommunications and other satellite and uh, everything harmful cannot come to your house. Usually classic houses are big in space, high with ceilings, and this requires bright colors. Uh, uh, it requires also plenty of decoration. Uh, uh, the colors were experimental. I'm not by myself in charge of picking up all these colors, 
For example, the yellow here in this room uh, uh, is the responsibility of my sister, Manal. Uh, as you will notice, in each room there is a theme color. There is a room with the orange color as a theme, another one with the blue, and the third one with the yellow. Mud houses such as this one enjoys a great relationship with nature and temperature. In this region, during summer months, it reaches almost 45 Celsius. This kind of warm weather will cost us lots of energy in current houses made out cement and concrete. Meanwhile, in summer, this kind of wall, the wall made out of mud, is going to cool the earth and the surrounding and usually it will not allow the temperature inside the house to go more than 25 degrees Celsius. The round shape of the dome always make hot air go up and this is a very good way to make the house cool during hot days of summer. So many media outlets visited this house and they participated largely in changing the views of people about their building alternatives and their living style. Also, so many people discovered that they have a desire, a hidden one, inside them to start thinking in a different manner and to start thinking of better options for a healthier life. Thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Questions or remarks, post them in the comments down below. If you like our video, just click the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching.